Hey guys and welcome to this brand new episode on Angular. In the previous video we have seen how to add a pick chart to the Angular project. In this video we are going to extend that example and work with the legends. So this is the sample chart that we created in the previous example. How about adding another language to this chart. So I'll just move to the Visual Studio code and I'll just go back to the app component.ts file. You can see that in the series section we have initialized one object we are going to add another object so let me just use the curly brackets give a name to it and we are going to name our language as python and data we are going to again initialize with some random numbers okay looks good i'll just save it and let's see what happens on the screen all right you can see that there are now two bars getting represented for each of this language and there is also a legend that is getting displayed so legend is by default available within the chart we're just going to see in a while how we can customize this particular legend all right so i'm back into the visual studio code and let me just go back to the app component.html so that we can start defining the legend the property is legend and we are going to create an attribute inside our app component.ts and we are going to name it as legend itself okay i will just go back to app component.ts let me create a variable which is named as legend and the type of that variable is apex dot apex legend okay let me just save it and we are going to initialize that particular variable so inside the init method we have this dot legend is equal to now we are going to specify certain options out here Let's begin with the position parameter. So we have an attribute called as position. Now by default, the legend gets displayed just below the chart. What if we want to place it on the top of the chart? So there is a value called as top. And let me just save all the files to see the effect of our change. You can see that the legend is now getting displayed on the top. We are able to change the position from bottom to the top. How about the horizontal alignment? Yes, even for that we have an option. Let me just type comma and if you just type horizontal align, you get various options like whether it can be aligned centered or it has to be left aligned or right aligned. Let's make it left aligned. Save it and go back to the browser. You can see our legend is now getting left aligned. Okay, so we are able to display the legend and we are also able to set its position as well as the alignment. But there is one catch over here. If you've seen my video carefully, Initially, when we created the chart, there was no legend that was getting displayed on the chart. But as soon as we added the second language data, that is Python, the legend was automatically become visible. So does it mean that if there is only multiple data series available, only in that case, the legend will be available? What if we have a single series data? How can we force the OPEX chart to display the legend even in that case? Fortunately, we are in luck over here. Let me just go back to the Visual Studio code and first I will just simulate the scenario. Let me remove this Python language data. I will just save it and if you just go back to the Chrome browser, you can see that the legend is no more available even though we have set the properties for it. Still, Apex chart is not displaying the legend. Let's just go back to the Visual Studio code and force our Apex chart to display the legend even when there is a single series data. So in legend, just add another property called as show for single series and set the value to true. Save it. And if you just go back to the Chrome browser, you can see that our legend has come back. Okay, let me revert that Python language data. So I'll just paste the data that we had. I'm just going to save it. Okay, so we have the multiple legends getting displayed as well as our data is back. Well, it seems like we have seen most of the properties of legend, but there is one more twist. Yes, it is filled with a lot of twists. What if we remove the legend attribute from the HTML file? What will happen in that case? You might think that the legend won't get displayed, but in this case, if I just remove it and if I go to Chrome browser, the legend is still getting displayed. What if you wish to completely hide the legend? You don't want it at all on the chart. Let's go back to the HTML, revert our legend attribute and we'll just go back to the app component.ts now inside this legend object just go ahead and add another attribute called as show and you can set its value to false let's save all the files i made a mistake okay 
and this time you'll see that the legend is not getting displayed even though we set all the properties for the legend just because we had turned off the show to the false the legend is completely invisible let's just bring it back because this whole video is about legend so i'll just bring it back by typing the value as true okay our legend is back all right we have seen most of the properties of legend but what happens when you click on this individual legend items it is actually toggling the data for the chart now this is the default behavior what if we wish to disable this particular behavior again there is an option within the epic chart we will just go back to the ts file and there is an attribute called as on item click this is actually an object and it has an attribute called as toggle data series i'm just going to set it to false and if i just save it and this time if you just start clicking on these items nothing will happen it is not allowing me to click those items all right so we have definitely disabled the behavior that was by default it was happening on the affix chart all right with this we are going to end this video over here but we are going to see a lot of additional chart types within the affix chart in the upcoming videos so see you soon in the next video till then take care and build something